What's going on, everyone? This is the fourth match of the Dustin Trivia League Season 4 Play-In Tournament here on our YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe if you've not subscribed already. Uh, like the video as well. That would help us out a lot. All of our videos will be on this channel going forward. The fourth and final match of Week 1 of our Play-In Tournament is here. At the end of the match, voting will open. Vote for the teams you want to get into the Dozen Trivia League Season 4. Teams will win their way in, but some are going to be voted solely in by you, the fans at home. This is match four. If you've not watched the previous three matches, please go back and do so. Enjoy. Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, the movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey Jack! The dozen champions All right, it's the dozen. Trivia League Season 4 Play-In Tournament. The fourth match of the week. Uh, we have two returning teams from last year. One team's rebranded a little bit. Another team making a fairly large addition of one of the, not age-wise, oldest players in the league, though, in terms of tenure. Uh, but first, uh, this match brought to you by, uh, in part, Body Armor. Shout out to Body Armor. Uh, taking down the mango orange after each match, but during it, drinking the water. I'm, we're doing like five today. I'm, I might may, may honestly piss myself. I've had so many of these so far. Um, but I'm hydrated. Uh, four matches in, including this match. Uh, you've seen three winners so far in this play-in tournament. Chicago won. Gaza Soldiers won. What a name. Jack Mack, Carolina Mook. Mack or Dosing, another returning team. They won. And then three teams that lost. The Icemen, the Family, and the Ice Dogs. Uh, they scored 10 points, 11 points, and 10 points respectively. Uh, here's how this works. 12 teams vying for four spots. Uh, we already know 12 teams in the league. Four of these 12 teams will join those other 12 teams to make up the 16 teams in the dozen. Every team will play two times in this tournament. The top three teams based on wins and points scored make it to the final week. And then the top three teams based solely on fan vote, nothing else factored in, make it to that final week where those six teams face off with the three winners getting into the league and then one final team getting in just by fan vote. I said this every match. In theory, you could go 0-3, score zero points, and get into the league. Uh, starting it off, Carl, new squad. Uh, the Flux, Flux had meant much turnover. I remember Mincy, though, back in the league on a different team. Uh, Stu gave it his all in the tournament. Uh, but Carl, uh, one of the lo longest tenured. You're like top five longest tenured player in this league. Top six. New squad. Yeah, you'd think tenured enough to get into the 30-man tournament. That's a different conversation. We're refocused here. We're well-rounded. And I, I honestly don't see any holes in our coverage. No, Jeff. Carl, you aren't looking hard enough because I see six <laughs> right here. Okay. <laughs> In our chemistries, uh, that was a tee up for yeah, Joey. already. Chemistry you would have so thought that was a pre-planned yeah. pre -plan bit there. No. Um. No. <laughs> no, no, no gaping holes here. And that's on period. Carl, what is your specialty? I do food and pop culture. I've and asked Jeff for years to do a porn star face <laughs> mashup, you and have. he won't do it. <laughs> Okay. You I'm limited in my strengths. To be fair, <laughs> let me throw it back at you. You had a, a, a fresh chance, and you were the one who backed off from it rather quickly. You, I'm just saying, you had a chance to make it happen, and you quickly said you pulled it back. You walked it back way too fast. Uh, we have 2010s. We have 2010s Tigers tonight, which we know Castellani beat it more ferociously than I, anyone I, to that era. Speaking of tenured uh, contestants in this league, RA. Uh, Chicklets disband. We, we 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 put a quota out there. Said that, and, and I mean, you played with two of the busiest human beings on the yeah. planet. Uh, no, no sarcasm. I mean, biz is on TV every night during hockey season. So you were a free agent. Yep. Uh, Spitting Chicklets to now we're calling ourselves Kraken Skulls. Little uh, you know Kraken reference with Hubs and Ebo. Uh, I guess mercilessly got rid of Chaps, and now it's it's uh, RA here in the house, uh, bringing movies 
hockey and much more expertise. How are you feeling, R.A.? I'm feeling good. I'm looking forward to a, a new team. Uh, you know, with Biz, obviously, people had fun. They were they were actually pretty good, Jeff, I thought. I thought, that, you know, some games were, were solid. Awful. Biz, 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 sneakily one of the better celebrity mashup people in the league. Yeah, and, and I mean, you know, we all pulled dances out of, out of our asses on occasion, but but they were pretty good. I know, like, like they're the typical dumb jocks. I was the nerd, but they, they did well. And, and you know, me and me and Biz, I mean, I, I don't know where it ranks all time, but but that uh, – Sure, it, oh, it's it's it. top three. Yeah, it's, it's top, you and Carl both are involved in probably two of the top three, a most absurd match in the history of the show. Yeah. the Memorial Day match, and then the yeah. uh, the the Biz and the Biz and RA match against Brandon and P. Brandon almost quit. He almost stopped. Yeah, stopped doing content for any company ever. He almost ran him out of the world. Uh, Brandon doesn't there we usually go. quit shows though, Jeff. Yeah, Jesus. that's true. He doesn't. Wow, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, this is Brandon Walker's longest running show. I just want to make sure people know that. Um, uh, the Yak. No, nah, they wouldn't let him have that, so we're going to call it this show. They wouldn't give him that title. Here we go. 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. Three lifelines, as always. No changes there. Uh, double up any category you want except for round 10. Already worth two points. You also have your body armor double sip. You can answer a question two times. Just got to tell me that you want to do that before you give your first guess. And call a friend. You can pair up a call a friend and a double sip. Can't use that uh, on round 10 or anything worth two. Uh, brand new bonus round debuting for you guys. This is going to be quite interesting. Uh, I'm excited about this one. Let's see how it goes. Uh, first category is the NBA. The NBA, randomized who goes first. Flux, you're up first. Uh, Kraken, you'll be up second. Flux. First category is for Flux. NBA, do you want a double NBA? No. I say no. No. Okay, here we go. For Flux, 35 seconds on the clock. Timer begins, and I'm done reading the question. This player was top 20 in total points from 2000 through 2000 from 2000 through 2010 and spent his last 3 years in that decade with Orlando. Like two guesses right off the top. Okay, what were you thinking, Carl? Go ahead. Uh, Richard Lewis or Paige Stojakovic? Do you want to double dip this early? Um No, I think Richard Lewis did spend his last three years in that decade with Orlando. I don't think Stoyakovich did. I think you're right because he was on the finals team that lost to the Lakers. So I would say I would say roll with that then. Uh, yeah, go with Richard, that. Richard Lewis. Final answer. That is oh, correct. Oh, One to nothing. Fuck. Good start. Other side. NBA. This player was top 20 in total points from 2000 to 2001 through 2009 2010 and joined Denver for part of the last two years in that decade. Uh, Chauncey Billups or I suck at fucking Billups day sounds day. right. Pistons I think it's either, years sync up and then right. It, it, yeah, it's either Chauncey Billups or AI. Didn't Do we uh, want to double dip? Didn't Billups go to Denver before uh, Detroit though, or did he did he go back to Denver after? At, Fuck, after. is it AI? Do we want to double dip? Those, I think we one of those that. has to be right. You, I'll defer to you guys because I fucking if it's not the '80s or '90s, I don't know it. Let's 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 double let's double double dip, double sip, double sip. Body sorry. armor. First guess in five. Uh, we'll go Jackson Allen Billups. Iverson. Oh no, Allen. I- Would you take there, Iverson or Billups? Would you just take Iverson? Okay, so we go Billups. Yeah, Billups. Billups. Final answer. Okay, one to one. Double Smart. sip Good off use. the board. You success. Yeah, Shout out to Body Armor. Celebrity mashup. Does anyone want to double? Oh no! No, let's let's hold off. But we were pretty good. I feel like last year. But... Yeah, very good at double at celebrity mashup. But not going to double. I'll go good other categories as well. It wasn't me trying to bait you. I'm just saying you were pretty good. Here we go. Flux for one point. Oh, come and on. the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. Come on, Ma. Okay, I believe that's uh, Nick Cage and Henry Cavill. I think. Yes. 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 You want to go with that, Joey? You feel good about that? Then, yes. All right. Answer, Let's Nick not... H and Henry Cavill. 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 Yeah. Wouldn't have mattered. You said it right anyway. That is correct. Nick Cage, Henry Cavill. Somebody said it right. You took funny. the words out of my mouth. Uh, it's perfect. Great mind. Two to Hold one. On. Good work. Flux. Skulls. Cracking skulls to make it two to two. And the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's um, Billy Crude Crew- up. Is that Crow and Crew? Billy, yeah, Billy Crudup and Russell Crow. Is that Crow? Um. <laughs> I 
Billy Crudup for sure. You think Russell Crowe's the outside? I don't know. The I was B- thinking maybe Blake Shelton, but... Ten seconds. I don't think it's Shelton. Crow with the gray gray beard. Yeah, but he usually doesn't have the fucking. He usually has it full. You know what I mean? I, I mean five. Ah, uh, go, go. I'll go. go Billy Crudup and Russell Crow. Wow! Nice. Yeah, nice. There we go. That almost got dicey for a second. Oh, I'm wow. crediting the dozen daily game for that. I've gotten so sharp with those matchups. <laughs> that it, it's it's I we haven't really brought it up, but I. There is a sh- there is definitely they're easier daily dozens easier but there's definitely something too like it's like batting crack it just yeah. frames your brain there they're still written the same way yeah yeah uh, NFL anyone want to double NFL no I think we're good okay here we go this is for flux <clears throat> the three teams Ryan Fitzpatrick started the most NFL games in his career for were the Bills the Jets Dolphins? and this AFC team either the Dolphins, Dolphins or the Bucks the Dolphins it's an AFC team. Is it? Oh shit! Uh, then yeah, I think yeah. Okay, I mean, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You didn't say it. Because anytime I say this confidently, it's come back to bite me. I'm just rifling through AFC teams. It's not the Titans. I don't think so. No. I I, I would. The only one I'd feel confident in right now is the Dolphins. So I'd probably go with that. Let's take the Dolphins. Dolphins' uh, final answer. Three to two. Got Carl. No yeah, other side. Got Carl. Tie it back up. Thanks. Three teams. Case Thanks. Keenum has started the most NFL games in his career for the Vikings, Broncos, and this NFC team. Phone a friend. Case Keenum. Available here. Other side, you have double sip and phone a friend. Double sip in it. <sighs> Fucking bum. <laughs> okay. Let's go. You get... Do you know Hubs or Ebo? Like, I got to just cycle through the teams, through the teams in my head. Commanders, Giants, Eagles. Oh, we, is it the is it the Rams? Rams sounds. That's where right. that's where I'm that's where I'm at right now. Rams. Rams sounds right. It's not the Seahawks. It's not the 49ers. Not the Cardinals. Not the Cardinals. It would be not either the Commanders or 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 not, the. But I, I think it's the Rams. The Rams sounds no. right. Yeah. Let's go Rams final. That's correct. Three to three. Good job, job, buddy. Here we go. Matching each other through three rounds. Music next category. Music. Uh, This is for Flux. Finish the lyrics of this hit 1997 song. I graduated this year. Every night in my dreams. I see you, I feel you, right? It's the Titanic song. See you, I feel you. Yeah, see you, feel you. How many verses or bars do you want us to go, Jeff? If you find anything and I need more, I will tell you. So. That is okay. how we go on. I'm going to say what, what Chris said. I see you, I, I feel you. you. Yeah. That is how I know you go on. Final answer by Celine Dion. I see you, I feel you. He has you. sick person's disease, friend. everyone. Maybe like one of your French girls. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Titanic streaming on Netflix. I know it won a ton of Oscars. I stand by this. Still super underrated movie. Underrated? underrated. Best picture, underrated? Right? underrated. I know. By I know. I know it won Best Picture for a year, but I'm saying. He said he stands by it. You can't, you can't reply to that. Oh, he said he ever. stands by it. That's it. That's it. By it. Holds up, underrated. too. Uh, don't spoil it. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Don't tell me how it's to the boat. <laughs> 1999 hit song. 1999 oh. hit song. Little, little different pace on this song. I think Chris almost just sang it. I almost did. Stop himself. I, I know them. Play it again, please. Oh. You can hear up to three more times. I have no idea. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I. I yeah, I'm not familiar with the, all the lyrics. I know what song it is, but she's no mas. Sorry, Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Zebo? I have no should idea. Exactly should, we just, should we just should we just hear it again? Call a friend. Should we just hear it again? Like, so we, we have a, actually? A f- yeah. Why would like who would know like which who would know the? Either play it again, call in five. All right. Three. You, I can't two, think who's out there. 
I one just punt. We should have called. Uh, it. I can't think of who to call. Uh, isn't black it black cats and voodoo, and voodoo dolls. dolls? Yeah, black cats and voodoo dolls. And voodoo dolls. Black oh, cats and voodoo dolls. I should ask Nate. <laughs> Five to uh, three. Look, guys. Quick steal on the we other side. Called. Fuck. MLB next category. Is I want to double MLB. Evo, I, it's double. Double hubs. Evo. Yeah. It's dangerous with Chris on the other side and Carl, but yeah, we don't like have we, to. Yeah. Let's Plus, let's wait till movies then. If they're yeah, let's yeah. yeah. All right, they're gonna wait till movies. Here we go. All right. You got us no, for doubling, for right? One. You got us for one point, okay. two points for for Kraken. Here we go. Right. After ta after taking on the closer role for Pittsburgh, this relief pitcher had over thirty five saves in both two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, making his only two career All Star teams. Okay. It's um it's for flux. The first one that came to mind was Jason Grilly, but that's not right because he was thirteen. He was. Um, yeah, I can't go. I can't go past Mark Melanson. I'm stuck on Mark Melanson. Uh, uh, do you want to? Uh, do you want to call somebody? Nope. Who is a uh, Who is a fat closer? To Jonathan Broxton. Not Heath Bell. Five. El Guapo. Four. Want to go Heath Bell? No. Two. Jonathan Broxton, finally. Jonathan Bronson, finally. <laughs> is he far oh. off with Melanson? I feel like it's uh, – this is a name I haven't thought of in a while, but Joel Hanrahan, does that sound right? He, I know him being on the Reds. Was he a 35-save guy? I feel like Melanson might be the guy. But I, I – I'll defer to you. I don't even remember. Catch Mark Melanson, Melanson, final. The guy I've wanted to use for years. Joel Hanrahan oh is the my correct God. answer. He Fuck me. I've, we, I've been begging for a Hanrahan no. question for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry, Evo. Uh, tough. No, it's all good. All right, let's get this. Tough. Five to three. Fuck me. It's all good. Let's tie this up, boys. Here we go. To make it five to five. After taking on the closer role for Seattle, this relief pitcher had over 35 saves in both 2006 and 2007, making his only career All-Star team in 2007. 35 seconds for two points. 607. Fuck. I'm fucking useless here. Come on, you guys got to know this. You baseball nerds. How many fucking closes I mean, does Seattle it's have? Not, it's not Rodney or uh, Valverde. I guess not. It could be Rodney, but I think Rodney played for them later. 15 seconds. Did they have a fat closer? Sort of Latin, like a Spanish or Latino name, maybe last name? No, I'm a... It's not like Guardado, right? I don't know. Eddie Guardado? Four. Three. Yeah, That's it. That. Eddie Guardado, yes. final. Other side for two points. Ladies? The only name I have is Arthur Rhodes. I mean, those are some bad Mariners teams, man. If you want to ride with that, we can. I couldn't think of anybody else from that era for them. Um, Arthur Rhodes, you said? That's the only name I have from that era out of that bullpen that I knew for a fact would have been around that time. But what about – it's, it's a, not Eddie. They said Gordado, five, not Guerrero. Four, three. Ar Arthur, Arthur Rhodes. Rhodes. Arthur Rhodes, final answer. JJ puts. Ah, wow. good one. Good one. Dusty That's Rhodes. a good name. Five to three, double off the board for crack. and did not get it. No blood at all in the baseball round. Weird. Television next category. Oh. Television. That's television. Sucks. This is for this is for uh Fluck. This is for Flux. Mm -hmm. Louis Anderson earned three Emmy nominations from 2016 through 2018 for a supporting role in this FX right. dramedy starring Zach Galifianakis. I believe that was Baskets, where he played a clown. I, I, only... I, a trans woman. <laughs> I, pretty, I thought it was a clown. It is. It's it was it's final answer. That is correct. It's baskets. Six to two. Or six to three, excuse me. Six to three. You just dive Here we go, other side. To make it six to four. Flux, you still have your double. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Call a friend available for cracking skulls. Alan Arkin earned Emmy nominations in 2019 2020 for a supporting role in this Netflix drama starring Michael Douglas. Oh, um, the, the Kaminsky Method. That's what it's called? Kaminsky Method? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Final. 
Good shot. Six to far four right. going into the bonus round. Oh boy. Needed that. Six to four. Flux, a little extra advantage having that double, but this is a brand new bonus round for the first time ever. Let's see how this goes. Time to make the donuts. All right, bonus round time. Brand new version of the bonus round. It's a hybrid between the showdown version, the written numbers, and the list version. Each team, you're going to hear three categories. I'll read you the categories right now. Geography, baseball, beverages. You're going to select somebody from your team to go each round. There is a list of 10 things in each category. Each person on the team will have 35 seconds to write down five things they think are on that list. For every one they get right, they get a point. And we go on to the next round. First team to get 15 points, meaning if you get five each time, you get 15 points, wins the bonus round, wins two points. If after the third round, no one has 15, we go to a fourth and final sudden death round where the team with the most after that round wins. When it plays out, it'll make much more sense if it doesn't already. First category is geography, then baseball, then beverages. Joey, Carl, I'll, Chris. Would you, yeah, would I'll go, you I'll go geography, that? Joey, go beverages, Chris, go baseball. Perfect. Bad boy. I, I'll go geography. Ebo, I think I want you at baseball. Um, cool. All right. Do you want geography or beverages? What, are you good at geography? Yeah. N not particularly, but I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm probably 50 50 at either of these. So is there a favorite for you? I mean, I think I'd probably do better at geography. Than <laughs> okay. The so RA right, geography, yeah. I'll do beverages. All right. Okay. So it's going to be first round geography, Carl against RA, and then MLB. Chris against Ebo, and then Beverages, Joey against Hubs. 35 seconds to write down your answers, Carl and R.A. When I say pens down, put your hands up. When I say pens down, put your hands up. Here's your question. It is the list of the 10 biggest U.S. capitals by population. 10 biggest U.S. capitals by population. You have a, 35 seconds to write down five of them. Your timer begins. 35 seconds to write down five of them. However many you get is added up to your team's total. Ten biggest U.S. capitals by population, and for every one you get right, you get a point. So you have to know the capital, too. In the state. Yeah, you, you do, mm -hmm. in theory. <laughs> yep. Ten seconds. Pens down in. Wait, 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 what? Five, four, three. I can't even Two. think of state capitals. Come on, all right. One. All right, pens down. Pens down. All right, hold up your papers. Hold up your papers. Okay. I uh, Carl, what did you say? I have uh, Austin, Sacramento, I think Indianapolis, Eugene. That's a horrible <laughs> That's a horrible one. And uh, Detroit, which I don't even believe is the capital of Michigan. Okay, all right. Read yours off. I suck. Donkey dick on this one. I had fucking one Atlanta, dude. I I sucked at these ones. Atlanta's all you I gave had. one. Just okay. All right. All right. Just you just said Atlanta. Okay. Uh, it is somebody got you guys got some. Carl, you got three. Ra, you Good got job. one. Fuck. Carl, you got Austin, Indianapolis, Sacramento. Ra, you got Atlanta. It is three to one. Sorry. Good job, Carl. Three to one. Major League Baseball is the next one. Thirty-five seconds to name five things on this list. Three to one lead. For Flux right now. The last 10 unique World Series MVPs. Timer begins now. Last 10 unique World Series MVPs. Name five of them. Name five of them. <laughs> We're going to have to clear because Chris ain't missing these. Name five of them. Two-point lead for Flux right now. Ten seconds. Pens down. Hands up, please. In five, four, three, two, one. All time. right. Chris, name off five. All right. Uh, Corey Seager, Jeremy Pena, Jorge Soler, Steven Strasburg, Steve Pierce. That's what I had. Okay, now. Ebo. Jorge Soler, Alex Bregman, Madison Bumgarner, and Mookie Betts. I don't know. Okay, so Chris, you got five. Uh, went five for five. You got Corey Seager, Jeremy Pena, Jorge Soler, Steven Strasburg, Stephen Pierce. Steve Pierce, excuse me. Ebo, you got two correct. Jorge Soler, Madison Bumgarner. It is eight to three. Oh, come on. Eight to three. 
Here we go. So Joey has to have a stroke, and I have to... <laughs> as long as you're within five after this, as long as you remain within five... I just hope I know you have a chance in the sudden death. What, Joey? I just hope I know one of the answers. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll Fuck. If Flux has more than a five-point lead after this round, it's over. They get two points. The ten best-selling sodas on Walmart.com. Not counting their own brands. No offense to their own brands. Ten best sodas. It is eight to three right now. Eight to three. If Kraken stay within five, we go to sudden death. Ten best-selling soda on Walmart.com right now. Walmart.com right now. Right now. Yeah, it's, it doesn't really change. Ten. Pens down and hands up in five, four, three, two, one. Joey, you're going to read first. Okay, I have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Coke Zero, and Sunkissed. Okay, so you said Coca-Cola. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Sprite. Coke Zero. Sprite. Coke Zero and Sunkissed. Okay, Hubs. Coke. Sprite, okay. Dr. Right. Pepper, Pepsi, 7-Up. Okay. Up. okay. Uh, the correct answer for both sides is you both got four, so you are alive. Okay. Cracking, you are alive for sudden death. Joey, Flux, you guys got Coke, Coke Zero Sugar, Diet Coke, uh, and Sprite. Uh, Hubs and Kraken, you got Coke, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, and Sprite. Shut so up. it is Idiot. 12 to 7. Simple as this. Flux <laughs> uh, has to get none, and Kraken must get five. <laughs> uh, movies is the last category. Movies. Who do you want to have go each Chris. Yeah, All, right. All right. All right. But yeah. we're fucked. Damn. Good, good match. Here we go. <laughs> uh, the last 10 directors to win Best Picture. This Timer is begins. good. The last, last 10, 10 directors, directors to win Best Picture? Be yeah, humble, okay. Castellani. We need the fan vote. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave a few <laughs> out. Uh, Carl's not wrong at all. Wait, I don't have to answer this one. <laughs> 20 seconds. 12-7 lead. Flux has to get zero. Kraken have to get all five. Five. Oh, wait, One sorry. Five seconds early. Five, four, three, two, one. Chris, you read me one correct name, and it is over. Uh, Chloe Zhao. That is correct. That's two Ooh, points. Four oh Flux God, didn't even will. need it. Uh, didn't even need more than that. Uh, the whole list is Alejandro Giannaritu, Alfonso Cuaron, Ang Lee, Bong Joon-ho, Chloe Zhao, Damien Chazelle, Guillermo del Toro, Jane Campion, uh, Michael Hazenvicious for The Artist. If you would have got that, you're a psychopath. And then The Daniels. Everything everywhere all at once. Uh, eight to four ball game for Flux. A lot of points still remaining, and Flux still has to double. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll refine that bonus round, but I like that. I like that bonus round quite a that bit. That was good, yeah. Um, that was good. Here we go. Here we go. Eight to six lead for what? Flux. Eight to six or eight to four? Four. Eight to four. Excuse okay. me. Eight to four. I can't do math. You're good. Eight to four lead uh, for Flux. Next category is geography in a very rare spot in the seventh round. And you no want double. a double. No double. No. For Flux, up eight to four. No. Voyagers National Park, Stone Arch Bridge, and Devil's Kettle are attractions and monuments from what state west of the Mississippi? Utah, final answer. Joey, book Utah, it. Yeah, Utah. Final answer. Ooh. wow! It's big, big chance here. Say that. Uh, yeah, well, can we hear that again, Jeff? The no question. Oh, uh, no, I, I wasn't. What? I don't think you can repeat on them. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, it's 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 on the screen. Yeah, you can oh, see I'm, it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking looking at you guys right now. Devil's Kettle, <laughs> Arch Bridge, Stone Arch Bridge. I'm so confused. I think just... Devil's Kettle. I hear. I hear uh, Arizona. That's what I thought. That was okay. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Shot in the dark. Arizona final. Come on. Mexico. No. Minnesota. 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 Oh, not even close. Minnesota. Yeah, never would have guessed. Here we go. Other side to make it eight to five. What was it? 
The Garden Minnesota. of the Gods, Black Canyon, and Pikes Peak are attractions and monuments from what state? West Mississippi. Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak. That's us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're up. Washington. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know for certain, but... Are right, you I'm sure? I'm good with it. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Okay, Washington final. What? Oh, are you thinking Twins Peak? Twins Peak? That was I was thinking good, Colorado. That was okay, yeah. Either Colorado or... Because Pikes, like Pikes Peak is an iced tea. I think Pikes Peak is an iced tea brand from Colorado for some reason. I like Colorado. I like I like, I like Colorado based on that alone. All right, let's do Colorado final answer. Suck. Suck. Nine to four. That is oh, correct. Yeah. Big deal for Camasta. It's just our Pikes Peak iced tea from Colorado. <laughs> Good job. Is that the reason you knew that? That's unbelievable. If that's the reason is. you knew that. That's some awesome. millionaire shit, dude. I love it. Snacks and candy. Do you want a double flux? No, I'm good. Joey? Snacks and candy? Unless you're saving it for something else, I don't care. He is the snack champion. We, I good. usually double movies, but if you feel good about it. Double movies. Do double movies. Okay. All right. All right. We'll roll. All right. But, but I want to remember this spot to come back, Joey, because I do want to feature some of your strengths. And I know snacks and candy, you're the, you're the king. Thank you. All right, here we, he is the king. He did win the all-star thing. He beat everybody. That's here right. we go. Uh, except for Clem was homesick. I want to note that. Clem wants a rematch. Here we go. <laughs> Snacks and candy. What chip or cracker brand introduced an extra cooked fan favorite variety known as extra toasty in 2015? Cheese it. Final answer. That is correct. Let's to go. Five. Other side to make it 10 to 5. What chip or cracker brand reintroduced their old fan favorite variation, Asteroids, under the new name Flavor Shots in 2019? Chicken, the old fan favorite variation. Asteroids. Joey, what do you think? Do you have any idea? Is it for me? This is this my question? No, no, quiet, quiet. Joey, don't, do not do that. Do not Asteroids, listen to Hubs. I don't know. Hubs is sneaky. I, Ten seconds. I got, I got nothing. Asteroids. Chip a crack. Four. Three. I have no idea. Two. One. Now you're good. So, I don't. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's like something like pop, like um. I think it's like Doritos puffs, or like pop, like the air popped in it, so it looked like a. Remember? So it'd be Doritos then. Would be the answer. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna say okay. Doritos. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Yeah, book it. Like a pops. I know. I can't. I can't hear Joey. Say it again, Joey. I think it's Doritos like shots, or it's like filled with air, like Doritos brand something. Cheetos. Cheetos. Uh, Ten to four, six point lead. We have still focused. quite a few points remaining. Movies. Movies. No, we'll double. Double. Yeah. Bucks will double to make it twelve to four. What legendary TV actor and comedian earned their first and only Oscar nomination for their supporting role in The Aviator? If you miss, what? other side has a massive chance. Fuck. If not. You're in okay. great shape. Because fucking, okay, that was DiCaprio's in that. You had Kate Blanchett was in it's, that. Is it Brian Cranston? No. No, good guess, but legendary TV actor and comedian. Uh, so who is a TV actor in, from, from like the 80s or 90s or some shit? Um, fuck. I feel like Ari is going to know this too. Um, Five. Do we want to call anyone? Can Can we? No. no, you're double. A Two. Alan Arkin. Huh? Alan Arkin, final answer. Nope. All right. Side. Alan Alda. Alan wow, that's close. Oh, shit. That final. It is. You oddly said the first name. <laughs> I almost. Uh, it is. <laughs> 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 Huge steal. Massive steal. All right. Huge steal. Son, to make it 10 to 7. God, I wish we saved the double. Originally a teen heartthrob from the 1980s, what actor earned their first and only Oscar nomination for their supporting role in Crash? Oh, is this. Uh, Matt Yep. Yep. Yeah. You said Matt Dillon, right? Yep. Yep, Matt Dillon. Yep, final. Ten to seven. Come on. Cracking down Come three on. now. Huge movement Come there. But still a three-point lead. You have two, four, six, eight points remaining in this game. Niche category round. Flux, Detroit Tigers. All right. Come on. Be good. Cracking yeah. 1970s movies. Ooh. 1970s movies. This is for Flux to make it a five-point game. To make it a five-point game. 
Three Detroit Tigers pitchers made multiple All-Star games in the 2010s. Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, and this player in 2010 and 2011. Okay. 2010. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, so 2011, let me think of our All-Stars. Okay, we had Verlander. We had Alex Avila. Uh, oh, I think it might have been Jose Valverde, who ironically was brought up a minute ago. I believe it's Valverde. Yeah, he closed it out, went 49 for 49 in 2011. Think he made it in 2010, too. Please be correct. I think it's Jose Valverde. Joey, let's go with it. Final Valverde, answer. final answer. 12 to 7. Huge get for Flux. Needed that. Other side to make it 12 to 9. Game still alive after this. Here it is. The satirical musical dramedy was one of five movies from 1975 to receive a Best Picture nomination at the Oscars. Rocky Horror Picture Show, Hobbs. That's the only one that comes to mind. That sounds like a movie. Yeah, so it definitely is. But I don't know if it was a Best Picture nom. But I mean, I don't know any fuck out of the sat- satirical musical dramedies coming to my head. Uh, Stick I mean, it I'm out until we. Okay, all right, we'll go with that final. Fuck. Uh, side. Zan- Xanadu. <laughs> oh, do we lose Joey? Musical He's there. Uh, um, I don't see him. I, Carl, do you have any idea? I have no clue. Guys and dolls. I have no idea. Five. Sure. Yeah. Four. If he's not here, guys and dolls, fine. Nashville. Nashville. That's Nashville the correct answer. Wait, wow. Nominated along the songs like the Jaws. Wow. What was Nashville? Is it satire? News to me. Yep. Um, I'm, a big, I'm a big fucking Altman guy, too. I'm ashamed. Five point game, four points remaining, meaning Flux does take the win. They're one and zero. Oh. <clears throat> Other side, four points remaining. Try and score as many points as possible. Cars is the next category. Cars, cars. You're gonna see a car. Tell me the company that makes the car. Oh, for, okay. For Flux. Volvo. That's a Volvo. Final answer. That is correct. 13-7. Other side. What company makes this car? Chrysler? Chrysler. Yep. Chrysler final. That is correct. 13-8. to eight. College football. Last category. Here we go. College football. This is for Flux. Playing at this school from 2013 Ooh. through 2016, Nick Mullins told 87 passing TDs. Was 2015 college or conference USA offensive player of the year? Was that we we have our double dip right? So I double dip presented yeah, by I like, uh, a double sip. I like UCF. I, I thought it was like, either uh, UCF or uh, Southern Mississippi. I thought maybe. Yeah, I like Southern Miss too. Okay, um, so let's double sip. I, I don't. I don't know this one confidently. That's fine. Well, we get we won. So it, it's uh, we'll do double sip. Let's go UCF first one. That's the right UCF for the first one. And then Southern Miss for the second. Final, but, Joey? Yes, final answer. Southern Mississippi. Nice. 14 to 8. Other side, cracking skulls. Playing at this school from 2011 to 2014, Garrett Grayson told 64 passing this TDs. This is Colorado in State, I believe. Pretty sure Colorado sounds State. Right. What do you think you both? Sounds right. Yep, Colorado yeah, State yeah, final. Like that is correct. 14-9, final score. Joey, thoughts? How you feeling? Joey, I'm your feeling computer, your computer died. Mid- get Joey a charger for his computer. I, so. I didn't know it was even that I didn't even realize you're laying on the floor right now. Not my bet. Oh, okay. Did, okay. did Chief do these questions, Jeff? Lift, lift them right <laughs> off Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville is a satirical musical comedy drama. I mean, all right, you lost by I don't trust Wikipedia. Right, I don't lost, I'm just fine, fucking right. bitter. And I don't you, you gave me one capital, all right. You gave me one I capital. I, I shit the bet. I know. I, I, I know. know. <laughs> There's other areas to look at. Let's not Nashville. be – Fan yeah. vote is big, all right. Let's, let's maybe <laughs> – maybe. Yeah, they have, you didn't, didn't have a good game. What are you going to do? Uh, Flux, 14 points. The Only the third most scored so far, though. But you are 1-0. Oh, that's big. Flux, you'll be taking on the Misfits, who may have a new third member. 
I don't know. Uh, uh, the, the Don can't play his next match. So that might be a whole different team by the time you play them. Jeez, that's it. 14, nine final score. Uh, that's it. I believe for this entire oh, week. Won. Um, <laughs> it's, it's Joey. <laughs> Wait, can I say something? Not just because we won, but like literally this is my favorite grouping of the team we've had. So thus far. fuck yeah. We uh, have one more. Don't you agree? Oh, I agree. Yeah, yes. ben Minty fuck that. yeah. Minty that. We have one more match this week. We have oh, no, I like Minty. He's good too. Captain Cons, the ultimate villain of the dozen returns. Uh, he's playing with Nikki Smokes and Dan Rappaport, and they'll be taking on the Misfits. Hank and RDT and then somebody. I don't know who it is. Uh, it's going to be someone else. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.